Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. This is Alex. We're live from Harlem in New York, and this is The Ramble. Hello, everybody. Here we are on the line to California. Yes, of course, we're talking with Larry Bowles Brown. Hello, Larry. Yay. God, we're two, we're how many miles apart? 3,000? 3,000, I think. Something like that. Almost to the mile. Yeah. Yeah. And we just, uh, you know, if if we had video on you, you'd look like you were next door. You know, it's, it's, no, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Except I, uh, I bought a new phone this week. Oh, excuse me. I don't want to tell you about that because when's the last time you bought a new phone? Uh, when my flip phone broke last year. Oh, I see. And, and how did, what did you replace it with? An iPhone with all the the gimmicks and all the <laughs> the, all the video and the, and the high speed internet info. Uh, you zooming your friends. You talking with your friends by Zoom on this. What what uh, how, what kind of phone did you get? The, the one the same model that broke. I got another flip. <laughs> The guy at T-Mobile is going, well, we're going to add $4 a month to your bill. <laughs> Did he say that? Really? Yeah. yeah. Why? Because you were paying for it by, by monthly or something? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're amazing, Larry. You just amaze the living crap out of me. I'm a Luddite. Well, I went on. I bought a new iPhone this week. First one in three years. That's a long time for me, you know. Usually two years comes along, I'm getting the new one, right? So I get... you have to get used to all the new stuff on there and everything? Well, I wish there were a lot of new stuff on there. Unfortunately, there isn't. (laughs) You know? There is not a lot of new stuff, so I don't know what to tell you, you know. I'm trying to think. I remember you were one of the first people I knew that had a uh, cell phone. Uh, really? Yeah, I guess I would have yeah. been. Well, uh, I had a, um, let's see, I had, when did I get my first cell phone? I can't remember. I think it was one of those Motorola's, you know. Uh, and uh, then I, I, what you saw with me probably was my car phone. That was it, yeah. I had a car phone, yeah. Yeah, those were in the days, folks, where you had car phones, uh, but they uh, uh, they were a little different. <laughs> well, know. they had those. Didn't they have those as far back as the seventies? Uh, did they have them as far back as the seventies? Uh, they had. They always had car phones. Went back. God, I remember the first time I saw a car phone. I was in Hawaii, and a friend, a guy there at the radio station had a car phone, and what it was was, you remember those little princess phones? Yeah. yeah. It was a princess phone anchored to the dashboard, and then it went back to this huge, big, giant thing that was like a transmitter, <laughs> and then it went to this huge antenna that was on the car. That's when I first saw a car phone, and I realized at that point car phones weren't practical. <laughs> okay. But technology's come along now, and if you buy any phone, it's a car phone, you know? Right. You can run it in the car at home. You can take it with you to, to Europe. You can go anything with it. But anyway, so I, got, I decided, you know, it was time because Marjorie and my battery was running low, all right? Now, I could either go in and have the battery replaced. That's a pretty easy deal. Or... I could buy a new phone. And I think it was time to get a new phone. Because, you know, after three years, how much have they improved? Right? Right. 
Not much. <laughs> You know, they're, I mean, they're pretty much the same, right? Well, uh, for basic usage, it's pretty much the same. It looks a little different because the lettering is nicer and brighter, and the screen is a, is brighter. Uh, but the, it it also runs faster. That I noticed too. But the 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 enhancements to the machine, the phone from the one I had three years ago, were somewhat negligible. They were only in electronics in the speed at which it would do it and the kind of a processor they had in the phone you don't know any of these things but basically it's a faster phone but outside of that you know nothing nothing and then they say this is the new iphone with ai you know it's like do you remember when you were younger do you remember chlorophyll Uh, you, I thought it was in gum or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chlorophyll. What it, what it was, was there was this theory, and it was a kind of a stupid theory, that sheep never had bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> and they tried to figure out, why do sheep not have bad breath? I don't know who went around smelling sheep's breath, but... <laughs> And it turned out they felt the reason was because of the green grass they were eating, which contained chlorophyll. So they put chlorophyll in gum. You remember that? And then they I remember it was been in gum, yeah. And then they put chlorophyll in mouthwash. And finally, I remember chlorophyll insoles for your shoes. So your <laughs> feet wouldn't stink. All right. Everything had chlorophyll. Now with chlorophyll, this with chlorophyll, that with chlorophyll. And so it's the same thing with AI. Now with AI, this with AI, that has AI, and none of them really have AI. We've been using AI for years now, and you didn't know it. Mm -hmm. I mean, how when you go to your television set, I've actually... I've actually been uh, had a discussion with people in a room during lunch that come over to the house and we talk about something. And then I will turn on the TV set and I will go to YouTube and the first video there is about what we were talking about. I've heard that. I haven't seen it in my experience. Yeah, but you know what it was? It was AI. Because I have Zooms, all not Zooms, but uh, 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 um, Alexas all over this house, right? And apparently, it's listening to me. You know, I'm talking to you right now, and it's listening to every word I say. Don't you find that creepy? <sighs> you know, I really don't. I, you know, it doesn't bother me in the least. You know, I, I, I keep quoting your line to everybody when we discuss this subject. Steal my, go ahead, steal my uh, life, you know. Go ahead, steal my identity. Then you'll have no life at all. You're <laughs> lying, okay? And it's true. I mean, really, what can they? What are the? What can they do to me? You know? I mean, how badly can they steal my identity? I've got my bank accounts locked in, so nobody can go in and get that money. And if they try and charge something uh, to any one of my accounts, I simply call the person it was charged to and say, "Remove that. I didn't order it. It was my it was stolen identity." And then I just simply change my password. Big deal, you know. Well, it just seems like you're. It's, it's like being spied on by Hal. Well, th there's no way you can be spied on. You don't have an Alexa, do you? No. No. And the, uh, I don't think. I don't think the flip phone can spy on me. I'm not sure. I. I it, well, there's probably some level of it, but you know. But the new phone I got, I mean, for crying out loud, this thing, you know, it's... A, but they say now with AI. And the truth of the matter is it doesn't have AI because AI is contained in programs which are then put into the phone. And currently, Apple has not yet released their AI to the phones. So to advertise that it now has AI or is AI capable is wonderful, but the fact is it's a lie. Because they they don't have the the uh, the programs yet to take advantage of AI, so. 
But uh, AI, they, everything's AI this, AI that, AI will replace us, you know. I don't care. I'm going to be dead in a couple of years anyway, so it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really matter. You know, so are you, you know. How much does this phone cost? Ah, okay. You ready? So I have, to, I, have to, I have to trade in my old phone, which they give me a certain amount of money for. And then I have AARP, so $10 is taken off or something like that. One thing and another, it wound up my new phone cost me $10. Holy shit. You know, but that's because they have all these programs. I've got to stick with my AT&T for three years in order to get the full value out of that and get it for that price. But, you know, if I do it earlier, they then penalize me and things like that. So, you know. But that's how cheap they get. You know, they're just deals to get you to get into the AT&T universe, which I've been in forever, which is a complete waste of time. Are you ready for this? So, well, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, what were you going to say? No, but when you trade in your old phone, though, don't, don't you have a bunch of information on your old phone, or can you wipe yeah, well, that? Yeah, he, he wipes it clean. He wipe, The guy at the store wipes it clean. Or I can do it at home myself. You know, it's very simple. Okay. Uh, you just go through, go into the phone, go reset, and it completely erases everything that's on the phone. But hopefully all your information is on the cloud, so that's how you put it into the new phone. You get me? Yeah. I've okay. I've heard of it. Basically. Now, the cloud worries me, you know, because it's got all my information. Exactly. You know, and what happens if the cloud goes bad and I lose every bit of information I have? Yeah, you know, I'm sure they have redundancy. By the way, there's no such thing. It's not a cloud. It's not up in the air. I always point to the air when I say the cloud. I should the be cloud. pointing sideways to, like, Pennsylvania, you know. Yeah. <laughs> where they have these, 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 you know, a lot of computers that hold a lot of information. And uh, that that's what the cloud is. So. But anyway, so, you know, you can. I don't know if you can get a phone for, you know, 10 bucks because you don't have one to trade in. No. And that's a deal that AT&T has. If I trade in with um, if I trade in with uh, uh, um, Apple, okay, they'll give me maybe $300, $400 for my phone. Here they gave me $1,000 for my phone. But I have to keep the AT&T service for three years. Otherwise, they prorate it and then they charge it back to me. And You know, but now I then had to get my my Apple Watch that Marjorie had to get cellular service because it didn't wasn't getting cellular service now when we changed. So I had to call up uh, AT and T, and they said, "Well, you have to call back tomorrow or something." For some reason, they didn't have the information yet, uh, and I then. Decide, well, I've got to do something to get this cell working. And I call on a Sunday to, to, uh, to AT&T to, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, consumer uh, tech, uh, consumer whatever. And uh, guess what? And I've never heard of this before because I've called a lot of companies on Sunday and you do get technical support. That was the word I was looking for, technical support. Mm-hmm. I call on Sunday, and they say, sorry, we're closed on Sundays. What? I yeah, can't. I can't. Yeah. Uh, my phone just broke. I need my phone working right now, but your consumer, uh, your tech support is not open on Sundays? Are you out of your mind? So I don't know. I, I it was quite an adventure. Oh, and then I was getting a thing called uh, um, HBO Max or Max as it's called now for free because I had AT and T, right? As soon as I went to the new program, that disappeared. I had to start paying for it. Wow. Yeah. So you know, I mean, quite an adventure, and and then. I go to the, the, the guy who's doing my phones and we're buying the phones from and so on. We've done it for, for years. 
And he always upsells me something at the last minute there. You need this. You need that. He puts a case on my phone. I didn't even ask him to do it, but, of course, that's like 50 bucks. And one on hers, that's another 50 bucks. So there's 100 wow. right there. And then he says, you know, you should get this little thing. It's just you clip it right to the back of the phone, and it will give you power for another 10 hours or something. And I go, ah, okay, I'll take it. All right. Then he says, oh, you know, we got these new things for the side of your bed where you put your phone on it here, and it, it charges. And it also gives you information like time and blah, 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 blah. And I go, okay, we'll take two of those. So there's another 200 bucks. And uh, then, uh, are uh, the, oh, you going to Europe? You need a uh, an adapter. Okay, we need an adapter. Oh, hey, let's get that hub that I can use to plug four devices into it at one time. Okay, but we'll get you give you that. Finally, I leave the store. I paid a thousand dollars for all the upselling he did to me. Wow, that's worse than a car sale. Yeah, well, you know, screw this, okay? Screw all this technology. I'm coming over to live with you, and we can just <laughs> sit in the corner and suck our thumbs, you know? <laughs> no, you're right. You're absolutely right. I'm sure of it. You know, you're so off the grid, uh, they'll never find you, even when you die, you know? Yeah, I want to be like Ted Kaczynski. Well, you are off the grid. You don't have a cell phone that is a smartphone, okay? You don't but have... I'm sure this thing doesn't this thing ping off all the towers, and so it, I, I'm sure I'm followed. I, uh, I don't think that phone is, is that capable of doing all the dangerous things it's supposed to do, okay? So that's bullshit. Uh, I think your phone, you're pretty much off the grid. I mean, I like that. It, it, well, I, more so than I am. I mean, you don't have high-speed Internet. You, just, no. you know, uh, the only Internet you have is the kind of Internet you can use through your phone jack. Okay? Uh, it's all, you're, you're, you're off the grid. You're really off the grid, and I think you're probably right to do so. <laughs> no, I mean, I, you know, you remember me in technology. Come on, do you know yeah. anybody who enjoyed technology more than me? Because you were the first person I knew that had an email account. Yeah, well, I mean, the fact is, when I was a kid, I my favorite kind of movies was science fiction. Okay, I remember my first favorite movie. Uh, that I ever saw. I mean, I, my parents took me to see you know, Snow White and crap like that. But the one that really got to me was a picture called Destination Moon, which was produced by a guy by the name of George Pal, and it was about a very, at that time, realistic trip to the moon. Uh, and uh, I love that. And I loved everything science fiction. Because this was going to be the world of the future. And I live long enough that I look out my window and we built all these pencil buildings and so on and so forth. And I look at the skyline of New York and I look at my iPhone and I look at my computers and I say, I'm living in that world of the future I dreamed of. Now, is it wonderful? Is it good? No, it sucks. <laughs> and it was it was a disappointment. You know, it's not like I'm a luddite. This sucks. This it, it, what happens is the human race is so flawed that anything it invents, it will use for the worst possible thing it can do. You Good know. Point. Yes. I mean. Do you, uh, on your phone, I have to ask you. This is interesting. On your phone, do you get uh, robocalls? I get uh, I get robo texts sometimes. Texts, okay, but you don't get robo calls. No, I haven't yet. No, that's how much off the grid you are because you you should be getting here. We get at least three, four robo calls a day. Some I'll people, it's, for other people, it's uh, uh, even worse, you know. Um, 
I have certain programs that take me off that that grid and prevent them from calling me. I just uh, subscribed to a new one. I don't think I've gotten a robocall in a couple of days. But robocalls are a good example of taking the technology and using it for the worst possible thing you can. And I just think the human race, if they invent something that could be used for good, they will find a way to use it for bad. And then right. be using it more for bad than for good. And that's what's happened with computers today. That's what's happened with the Internet, you know? I mean, when you were growing up, was there ever a possibility of identity theft? No, I never heard of it, no. No, I never heard of it. You didn't hear of it till computers made it possible. Right, that's a good, Yeah. So, you know, you can go out there, folks. Oh, Alex is just a Luddite. No, I have, if you came into this room right now, you would see every piece of of up-to-date tech, okay? Because that's the way I am. But I don't think it's good. I just think everything's gone to crap because of it. You know, because of the Internet, we are more divided as a country than we ever have been. And it's because of the internet. It's because of. I think I think that's true. Uh, I was thinking about the early '90s, and I don't remember people being so politically like insane. And I think it's because of the internet and all these uh, social uh, sites. Well, there, there have been times in history where I hated the Republicans. You know, during Reagan, just absolutely hated the Republicans, but I didn't feel. A, a, a feeling that they were a disgusting bunch of people. They just didn't think like I did. And what's happened now is we are so divided that it's it's ridiculous. And we're divided precisely because people are on the Internet. And they get this wrong information. And they don't... I mean, I have to say, the average American right now has no idea what Kamala Harris is like or what Donald Trump is like. They only know what they read. Right. And half that stuff are lies out there. It's not vetted. Nobody's out there saying you can't do this on the Internet because it's a lie. You know, so I, did. I don't know. Am I getting to be an old 84-year-old curmudgeon? Paint a, paint a grim picture. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, you're, you know, you're, you're the same thing. So what the hell? God, I, you know, I'd heard of George Pal. I'd never heard of that one movie you mentioned, so I'd like to see that one. Destination Mood. It's a very, uh, um, it was, um, I think, inspired by, the. well, there's, a, there's a, was an artist back in those days named Chesley Bonestell who drew pictures of what it would like to be on Mars, of what, it, what it's like on the surface of the moon, you know, whatever. And he was a great futurist artist, and he did a lot of books with uh, another guy by the name of Willie Lay, who was a scientist. And he wrote these books about futurism and so on and so forth. And then they made this movie, Destination Moon, and they used Chesley Bonestell to do some of the artwork. And I think Willie Lay helped write it. And so it was the most accurate description of, of, of what it would be like to go to the moon at that time. Uh, it hasn't turned out that way now. It, it all looks different. But at that time, this was their concept of how you build a rocket, send it up, and land it on the moon. And so this uh, was in the, in the yeah. 50s. Yeah, it's called Destination Moon. It's a great picture. It's a great picture. Well, what, was, what was the George Powell? I know I saw one of his movies. What were the other ones? Oh, well, he did things like uh, The Time Machine. He did. Okay, that was the one I saw. Yeah, okay. Time Machine. He did uh, his follow-up to Destination Moon was When Worlds Collide, um, uh, which was, uh, you know, about about a, a planet coming and crashing into the Earth, basically. Uh, and he did a lot, of, a lot of special effects pictures. Before that, you know what he did before that? Do you remember Puppet Tunes? No. These were like animated little uh, wooden characters, and they would do whole films on them, and he would animate them. And he that was his, his big deal coming into this country were the puppet tunes. And uh, he used that technology to then do special effects. So 
at the time, he was kind of the master of special effects, even if he, War of the Worlds is another one he did. Um, oh, that was a great movie. Yeah, and he was just great at doing, you know, visual <laughs> effects. But uh, uh, time has passed them by, and if you go back and look at them, they look rather rinky-dink, but, you know. No, really? <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, we've run out of time here, my friend. <laughs> Once again, our get-together has lapsed. <laughs> As it were. When worlds collide. When worlds collide, yes, it has which, lapsed. Was a phrase that George Costanza used. Okay, well, listen, uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's talk in a couple of weeks because I'm going on vacation. Yes, uh, we'll we'll talk and we'll have a new president, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> talk to you. We'll have a new president either way. <laughs> yes, we will. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bubbles Brown. Thanks, Larry. Bye, bye, Alex. Now in its 10th year, this is Gabman. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, there he is, Larry Bubbles Brown. Let me turn on my lights here. There we go. Turn on my light. Yep, okay. All right, nobody's here except for Jeffrey Stein, uh, who, who doesn't have usually much to say, so there's nobody here. Huh. Well, you know, I could just uh, call it quits, I think. Yeah, I think I will. I'll tell you why. Because I don't need to. Because uh, uh, what's-her-name isn't here tonight. Uh, Amy Manuel isn't here tonight. So I don't have to keep going until uh, uh, midnight Eastern. So if you don't feel like calling, then I don't feel like taking calls. Period. That's it. Anyway, um, uh, uh, just a few things that I want to uh, uh, impart to you. Let me see. There are some people here now, but who are they? Uh, let me see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, okay. And uh, well, we got some people here. Okay, we got them. Got some starting here. Okay. All right, let me see here. Let me just bring these people all in. Jeez, I can't get out of here early, can I? You just won't let me. Okay, here we go. There we go. They're slowly coming into play here. Oh, and Tommy Amaguchi is here as well tonight. Oh, well, I guess it's uh, it's better. And Brian, we haven't seen you in a couple of days, but it's good to see you now. How are you, Brian? Doing good. Okay. Life is good. Tommy Amaguchi, good to see you again. Mm -hmm. And uh, Charlie, good to see Thanks. you. And Jeff, and uh, oh, and Alan, and Alan. Okay, all right. So, we, you know, uh, so how are you all uh, doing? How are you all feeling about the upcoming? Uh, I, you know what I hate is when they say it's it's, it's election day. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry. Uh, shouldn't we just say it's election period? You know, election uh, month. Yeah, election <laughs> month. <laughs> Something like that. Mark Thorner's joining us. Hey, it's good oh, to have wow. Mark here, too. Hey, Mark. Yeah. yeah, there he is. Oh, boy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't know what to say. Uh, we're coming up on it, and I am I was getting depressed tonight. I, I was kind of deciding that uh, I don't think Kamala was going to do it. Mm. Uh, well, I disagree, but that's, that's life. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I mean, you disagree. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me why you disagree. I disagree because I think women are going to vote his ass out. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope that's true. Okay, let's hope that's true. I think that, you know, there's a chance that these polls are wrong because this po polls have skewed themselves towards Trump. Yep. Because in the past, they've been wrong where Trump is concerned. So they don't want to take any chances. So they're just evening it all out. It's it's a it's a, it's a toss up, right? Trump yep. thinks he's going to lose. Trump thinks he's going to lose. How do you know that? Because he's already suing Pennsylvania for, yeah. you know, mismanagement of of the ballots. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last uh, time he waited till after the election to do that. Yeah. Well, that's only because he he, he doesn't want to let any grass grow under his feet. You know, yeah, be ahead of the game. Yeah, what happens if he wins? Is he then going to say, "Okay, we don't need to 
go and, and pull, you know. I guess. The, maybe yeah, that's what he did in 2016. Yep. Uh, yeah. That was a whole bogus election. They were cheating, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I guess the election was okay after all. There was no cheating. Well, I'm getting ready to not uh, come back from my vacation. You know. <laughs> I mean, or if I come back, it's just going to be to get my uh, toothbrush, you know, um, because quite frankly, if this country votes for Donald Trump, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I, I, I just have given up entirely on this country. You know, I, yes, I know that 50 percent of the people didn't vote for him, but I mean, the fact that this guy's even got a chance, I mean, last night with uh Tucker Car with Sean Hannity, whether it was Tucker, Tucker Carlson, yeah, Tucker Carlson, uh, he was calling for literally <laughs> shooting Liz Cheney. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Brian. The nine-year-old. Oh. Well, oh, you, you got a nine-year-old, I see. It was very Dr. Tobias Jess. <laughs> what did she say? What did she exactly? Say? What did she? Oh, exactly. She didn't say anything. Her, okay. her, own, her own language. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> put on mute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, um, you know, I mean, here he is. If if not saying I'm going to shoot Liz Cheney, he was talking about pointing guns at her and shooting her in the face. All right, yeah. that's how he put it. He was and, talking about a firing squad. The f basically, that's what he was talking squad. about, yeah. Yeah. How come Trump hasn't brought up Nikki Haley? I think Charlie's right. I think women are going to take over. Trump hasn't brought any uh, women into his uh, inner circle in this thing. He no, like, I, like I said before, why is it taking the women now? Grab them by the, you know what, he, yeah. well, you know, uh, because the, the rape charges, the rape charges, all this stuff as a woman, and now you're going to finally do this? Come yeah, on. because of Roe v. Wade. It wasn't until two years ago that Roe v. Wade got reversed. That's right. That was the final straw. Well, yeah, we'll you see. know, I mean, you say that women are going to do it, and I'm hoping that's <clears> true, <throat> you know, but I don't know that that's going to happen, you know? Find out. Well, we probably won't find out Tuesday. It'll probably be a week or two after that we'll find out. Oh, you mean I have to come back and then decide to leave? Yeah. yeah and then, and, and, but you know what he's doing also right now? He He's on this, I don't know what podcast or what that was on. Did you see that? And then he's talking about how many points he's up in polls. He says he's up 9% in polls and then like 50% in polls. He's trying to like he's trying to put this narrative that he's so far ahead in every or he's he's ahead in every single poll. So if he starts losing, he's going to say that's impossible because all those polls I was I was ahead in all these polls already. Well, How's he's it not a, he's not ahead in every single poll. Uh, there are I know polls, I know there are polls where he's ahead, like if eight percent nine percent, but those are the polls that we never trust. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, and I'm trying to remember what they are now. I, uh, <clears throat> you know, but they they don't uh, they don't seem to have any bearing. Uh, let me just yep. let me just but, do something but, here. Yeah, go ahead. But what I what I mean is what I mean is he's he keeps saying that that he's ahead in all these polls. So then, if it comes out and he's losing, he's going to say, "Oh, how could this be? This is this is fixed." Something else happened because I was ahead in all these polls, and now now I lose. No, something's wrong. Well, uh, um, uh, she is ahead uh, in the national polls, uh, taken yeah. all together. It's a ver by a very small amount. It's one point three percent, but they keep saying, "Oh, it's you know that's within the margin of error." Well, the margin of error used to be three percent. Now it's five percent. Because those people who take the polls don't want to look like assholes when they're wrong, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, she, had, she at one point, she was a lot higher. You know, he was at 45%, yeah. she was at 48 But things mm. do change, and I, but I don't, you know, I just, I don't understand it. Look, my point is, 
let's say she wins. Do you realize how many people wanted this guy to be president? I know. I mean, can you really feel safe in this country with that kind of mentality? No. And how long are we going to be able to keep those people at bay before they finally predominate in this country? And basically, we don't have a democracy any longer. You know? I mean, uh, this is this is just, it's so sad. Uh, you, you, you look like you agreed with me, Mark, that, you know, forget the fact that she might win by how much, you know? I think she'll win by 10 million votes. She'll run the popular vote by over 10 million votes. I think you're wrong about that. We'll see. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, from your your voice to God's ears, you know. You guys ought to make a bet of a thousand dollars or something like that. <laughs> you make a bet of a thousand dollars. Yeah. No, I agree with you, Charlie. So. <laughs> you know, I mean, no, but I'm saying that you know that uh, I, you hmm. know, I, I, what do you think, Mark? What's your ch- what's your take on how it's going? I crystal ball time. Honestly, Alex, I don't know. And that's what's bothering me because, yes, I made this. I was thinking the same observation is that, how do I put this bluntly? We got a lot of stupid people out there. And it's like, is if, you know, I mean, we got the marching morons. Mm-hmm. And I got this bad feeling that, yeah, you know, I'm hoping it goes the other way, but. What was it? Prepare for a bumpy ride if it doesn't, you know, and uh, yeah. and I'm actually thinking about pulling the trigger on uh, because of my mom and my grandparents getting a German citizenship. Really? Yep. Hmm. Why German? Why not British? Why not? Uh, p- because French? my mom was displaced from Germany in 1936 mm-hmm. and there's a little law that uh, any kid who wants to become a German citizen or dual citizenship has that ability. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's like, great. The irony is that Germany is more democratic than the United States. (laughs) Boy, there's there's irony for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the food's pretty good, too. Um, But... I I thought I really thought Alex at this point in my life things would have gotten a little better and I'm thinking from the perspective being old enough at a very young age to understand what was going on with Nixon you know mm-hmm. yeah. and, and you know it's like well it's got to get better you know and then it's like up and down up and down up and down now it's like down it's like Oh, come on. I, this is the one thing we shouldn't have to be worried about. Well, you know, my old joke was that, uh, you know, uh, now that, uh, you know, Trump is here, uh, gee, uh, Bush doesn't look so bad. In fact, oh, I as, thought, as a matter I of fact, that in 2016. As a matter of fact, uh, Reagan doesn't look as bad. <laughs> as a matter of fact, Nixon doesn't look that bad by comparison. <laughs> In fact, Hitler doesn't look that bad by comparison. (laughs) You know, I mean, it's just that I don't believe we've gotten to this point where people will believe somebody like this who is playing on their their basest fears to begin with. You know, uh, uh, this this whole thing about the immigrants are out to get your jobs they're going to rape your women you know your your cities are unsafe because of them there's nothing to to uh, there's no proof to that you know the immigrants it, are new communism well it's the old belling of the cat routine that i yeah. keep talking about and and the, the he's telling you there's a mouse outside there's a cat outside the mouse hole and if you elect him president uh, he will bell the mouse Mm-hmm. Uh, bell the cat, excuse me, he don't bell the mouse, uh, and and uh, he's that's essentially what he's using. He's living mm-hmm. on a basic fear, uh, uh, basic um, a fear of, of of foreign people. You know, since when has this country been afraid of foreign people? We embrace <laughs> foreign people. This was a country that <laughs> foreign- unless they're 
Unless they're Chinese. <laughs> yeah. I think he's got or a fear of going to jail. <laughs> what? What'd you say? I think he's got a fear of going to jail. Oh, he yeah. no. If if this if he doesn't um, if he doesn't win this election, he's toast. You know, yep. the twenty second of November, they're going to sentence him. Yeah. Yeah. Life. Life. Yeah. No. Slap on the hand. Don't do that again, Don. No, they'll probably probably give him a couple of years. I guess maybe. You know, maybe I, they'll. You know, you know, he does. Other than his. His things that happened in New York, the convictions. Before that, he was an unconvicted person. He's 78 or 79 years old. Former president of the United States. I can't see them putting him in prison. It's a shame. I'd love to see him in prison, but what? I just can't. I just can't see him doing it. Hey, he did something illegal. Yep. I'd go to prison, even at you my know, well, age. You're only Alex Bennett. You know. You know, at my age, I'd go to prison. Maybe. You know? They take things into consideration in courts. Criminal history. Yeah, uh, so much would it be a, about Age, age and stuff like age. that. So, hmm. I'm not sure, you know? But what about his hairdresser? You probably, you probably wouldn't have had the money to get 32 or 34 convictions against you anyhow, so. It's amazing with all the money he had, he couldn't get better lawyers. That's for sure. You know, that was his I don't think they want to take it, though. Hmm? No Tony's here. I wonder if the lawyers don't want to even take his case. Like, if I was a lawyer, would I even want to? I wouldn't want to involve myself with him, I think. No, you oh, you want to get paid, and, and his lawyers uh, Yeah, but like you paid. said, I, I don't even know if I'd want his money, though, if I was, you know? I wouldn't even want to be, I wouldn't even want to be associated with this guy. Like, well, look how many of his lawyers got disbarred. Yeah. yeah. Look at Rudy Giuliani. Well, I, 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 gotta, I was going to bring up Rudy Giuliani. Okay. Here's Sorry. a guy who went to the wall for Donald Trump. Okay. So much so that he committed crimes doing so. He yep. got convicted and uh, he, uh, he has no money left. They've taken all his money away because he got sued by those women. Uh, and uh, so that, you know, all I'm saying is that we've got a, a situation here where um, uh, he's just, uh, you know, I, I Rudy Giuliani is a, is a literally a, a trashed human being, okay? Yep. And what is his pal? What is the guy he did this all for, Donald Trump, doing to bail him out? Nothing. And he, if he has the billions he says he has, he could bail Giuliani out just by, you know, giving him pocket lint. Yeah. yeah you know, but he hasn't. And yet this guy gets up at a rally in Madison Square Garden <laughs> and speaks on his behalf. I would tell him to go fuck himself. Hey, Alex? Yeah. Rudy is such a shitbag. He's selling coffee now. Good. <laughs> Oh, May good. he rot in hell. No, I want, I want that coffee. I want that coffee. It's got to be good buy, coffee. You buy a box? It, it's from Donald Trump. Good coffee. Hi, Amy. Uh, Hi. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's what, in your in your monologue between on you, uh, Larry and, and the show, you said, uh, I might as well shut this down. Nobody's here, and Amy's not going to be here. <laughs> I didn't say Amy's yeah. not going to be here. Yeah. I mean, he's talking about the mm -hmm. interface. I, I know that what he was talking about, but... but no, I, Amy I is not going to be here tonight. Yes, she is. She's here right now. Well, I don't know if she's going to do a show tonight, but... I don't yeah. know about that. Either. No, I'm not I'm not doing a show tonight. I, I am barely awake, but I wanted to to yeah. check in. Yeah, and, yeah there's still elections tomorrow. It, yeah, there's still uh, early elections Oh, tomorrow. it's just... It's, no, no, no. Uh, Early voting ended tonight, but yeah, I have just worked there. 12 straight days, oh. and all but Sunday was a 14-hour day. Wow. Really? Look at all the pay got, day. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, it took her that much to fix this election. We had a gunman. We had a gunman. At my polling place, the one day I wasn't there, 
I was homesick with bronchitis on uh, just allergic bronchitis, nothing mm -hmm. serious. Yeah. Uh, on Friday mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. week. And one of my clerks sends me a screenshot of a Facebook post. Schools in Lantana. So let me tell you what Lantana is. Lantana is a country club McMansion community. Okay. Now, now for folks in New York and California, I'm going to tell you those homes are $600,000. But for $600,000, you get a McMansion with a swimming pool and all that. Mm -hmm. These are big, giant, fancy homes. This is not the barrio. This is not the ghetto. This is not. Yeah, we get you your know, point. Yeah, we this understand. Is where the poor come to rob you. <laughs> so a guy shows up there, and uh, in the, he's in the parking lot of the the Lantana Community Center where we have an early voting, mm -hmm. and he's waving it around a gun around. Pointing it at, at the voters that are outside that either just came out from voting or about to go in. And so they locked down all the schools in Lantana. And they uh, they had like five police cars. All this happened the one day I wasn't there. <laughs> well, the main why. people who have guns, they're civilians. Why didn't somebody just shoot them? Oh. Don't even need to call the police. Well, well, we don't do that in America here. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, they do it in Texas. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It, it, must be, it must be driving you crazy down in Florida, when isn't it? Uh, it yeah, isn't, he wants to move to Germany now from Florida. It, it, I don't blame him. Isn't it, Mark? I mean... Mark's um, in a nice area down there. Hold on a second. I'm talking to Mark. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mark, uh, uh, how is being in Florida right now? I mean... Well, to begin with, you were in the middle of that storm, uh, right? I don't, I don't want to go into it. <laughs> it's like I've been through a lot worse, and this one was even worse for other reasons. And it's like I, I'm still like, what the hell was that? Um, what do you mean worse for other reasons? The electrical grid down here got so screwed up that we were experiencing brownouts and full blackouts mm -hmm. and it's still like we're still getting that that i fit that effect and i it's it's never been this bad mm -hmm. and so you know you need electricity down here you simple fact yeah right so I mean, there was no damage or anything like that, but boy. Because I God. heard about your area and they kept saying there were problems down there, you know. In, but it wasn't like Irma or uh, Wilma. That's the weird thing. I mean, but this time it was it was the electrical grid that really suffered more than anything else. Now, I'm not saying people didn't get damaged. Yeah, people did. <clears throat> it happens. But... Wow, you know, I, I did this is this was like as bad as the summer of '96 in New York, where you had the rolling blackouts. You know, it was worse than that. It was like, what the hell? Um, Gee, you get that, and on top of it, you have DeSantis. Wow, is that a, oh, a double oh, whammy? The, oh, the shithead, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> And Trump lives there. You know something, Mark? If you move to Germany, the, their power system's good. They yes. won't have a lot of school shootings there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. And the trains probably run on time, too. Probably. I've heard all the jokes. You know? Yeah, no jokes. Yeah. No, but, so. There's less fascism. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, how about that, you know? <laughs> really? <laughs> you feel you safer know? as a Jew there than you do in Florida. Right. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, it. And my, that's sad. My my ninety four year old mom, born and raised, born in Berlin in nineteen thirty. <laughs> you know, I'm a I'm the son of a I'm a son of a German Jew for. She you know, got out. Of, she got out of there in time, right? Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and don't think the irony's not lost on me. But well, my father was born in Germany. 
but they uh, they got here in uh, I think 1920, 1921, mm. somewhere around there. So they missed all of that. All right, but it, you know. He probably came over on the same boat as my grandparents. They came here. Probably, that. probably. You know, my my mother and my father came over and were at Ellis Island, and my grandfather and my his my other my other uncle who was alive at the time came through uh, the West Coast, which was a whole yeah. different thing. But sure. if you came by the West Coast, you probably didn't have the same problems you had trying to get in like you did at uh, Ellis Island. Because mm -hmm. um, if you didn't have money, you didn't have a lot of money, and you didn't, couldn't buy it, you had, had to go to Ellis Island. Otherwise, they'd leave you off in Manhattan. You know, so. This is the most Jews this program's ever had on it at one time. <laughs> well, <laughs> on my mother's side, my grandparents were born in Texas. Oh, well, that's not Jewish then. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, my great great uh, grandfather on my mother's side was the first rabbi with Shmicha to settle in the state of Texas. So I Ooh. think that's pretty. And, and my uh, great grandfather on her father's side was part of the Galveston movement that helped the Jews from Eastern Europe come in through the port of Galveston. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, um, Tom, yeah, what do you think about uh, next week? <laughs> <laughs> Tom's voice is I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic, I'm feeling better. You're feeling better, I've been feeling better. Why were you yeah. feeling not better? Well, I mean, just like everybody else, you know. Why is it close? Close. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but yeah, as I said, a lot of news is coming out, especially about early voting, uh, being predominantly women. Uh, is and a lot of a lot of people are publicly saying that that they've come off the fence and into into the Harris camp. So, as I said, I'm I'm getting. Optimistic, but same time still working. You know, we're still, well, you still know, when, keep doing it. When people say who they're going to vote for to the pollsters, the pollsters aren't taking into consideration will they get out? Do they have the enthusiasm to get out and vote? I don't think the Trump people are as enthusiastic about voting as the Democrats are. Uh, and, and I think that's a major factor. I, I think that when it comes down to it, oh, they can yell MAGA and they can go to his comedy shows or whatever those things are. And uh, But when it comes down to it, eh, you know, they, they, they may just may not get out and vote. But I do know that those women are going to get out and vote. And those yeah. Democrats are going to get out and vote, you know. I mean, how many of you are Democrats and how many of you got your vote in already? How many? How many already voted? You know, so you know, yeah. it's it's. Uh, you know, I wish we had a couple of Republicans here. We could say, "Have you voted yet?" and get a little bit of mixture in there. Yes, yes, Amy. Uh, so, and a bit of good news <laughs> for you that is not being reported, but something I saw during early voting: an extraordinary number of first-time voters, people who just turned 18 since the last election. And I, I can't tell you how many people, a lot of people coming in with the whole family mm -hmm. and uh, mothers coming in with their sons and daughters going, this is their first time to vote. Uh, we had one mother who drove up to Oklahoma City, which is about a three hour drive to pick up her daughter to bring her to vote. Yeah. So that that's good news for us, I think. Those could have all been Republicans, but I doubt it. <laughs> you know, I, 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 they're not polling colleges. And a lot of colleges, this is the first time these kids have ever voted in a major election. Well, some of these kids are still in high school. Yeah, 18-year-olds can be seniors, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, well, let's go out and get the high school vote. I mean, Tony's yeah. still in high school. <laughs> yeah, I had a, a couple of uh, women that drove up 
to four hours today so they can vote at our polling place from Texas A&M, which wow. is in Bryan College well, wait Station. Wait a minute, there That's wasn't anywhere down there that they could vote? They, they, were, reg they were registered in Denton County. Hmm. Okay, so you have to vote where you're registered. Well, yeah. you, what you can do during early voting is you can vote a limited ballot. Mm -hmm. uh, if So a limited ballot means that you just get the statewide races. But you can't vote, you know, for your member of uh, state house, state senate, congress. You could, But you can vote for senate and president and railroad commissioner and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Railroad commissioner. Railroad commissioner. Ah. Is that yeah. it? Which has nothing to do with the railroad, by the way. <laughs> wait a minute. Folks wait, not wait, from wait, Texas. Back up, back up here. <laughs> wait a minute. Railroad commissioner has nothing to do with railroads? Nope. Nope. It has to do with energy transmission. Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of like being and it's head. one of the most powerful offices in the state of Texas. Yeah, it's sort of like being part of the head of the uh, PUC, you know, like something like that, right? Yeah, except we have one of those too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, all right. But um, anyway, so, you know, I mean, I just, uh, I, I've been, tonight I got depressed about it. I just, you know, I just said, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's like, I felt that uh, Kamala had a real head of steam going for her, and that seems to have eroded quite a bit. When she started, it seemed like she that. Was, <laughs> not, on the, not, not on the ellipse, and 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 she's just having great record-breaking crowds. She had yeah she finished Nevada. And, does, that, uh, does record breaking crowds translate into winning the presidency? Or does yes. it just mean people were enthusiastic enough to show up for you? I mean, if they're enthusiastic enough to show up at your rally, they are definitely voting. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, let's see. What kind of crowds is Trump getting lately? Are they less? Oh, a lot less. A lot yeah. less. And mm -hmm. and he's not getting. He, she had J Lo last night. You know, I don't think that matters. You know, I think it does. To begin with, She's got a lot of fans. <laughs> to begin with, she, Unless, okay, so, hey. hey someone who is in, Puerto in, Rican, so someone who is Puerto Rican, yep. who reminds reminds the audience of what Trump's warm-up act said about Puerto Ricans. Yeah. Well, I think in, te know. in Texas. Yeah, last, there was a, wait, a wait, Hold on a second. In Texas last week, they had uh, Beyonce, right? Beyonce yeah. and Willie Nelson. Okay. Neither of which performed. Well, there's a rapper that was all pro Trump until this Puerto yeah. Rican yeah, well, came that, out. That, and now he's yeah. throwing all his people. Well, because yeah, he was on stage with Trump like a couple of months ago, and yeah. and now he has well, turned. That, that was a guy that Trump thought was a woman. Do you remember? Yeah. Fat <laughs> Joe. Fat hmm? Joe. What? No, what did you say? Funny. I think it was Fat Joe. Fat Joe. No. no, no, no. That's not a very. That's not a very good rap name. You'll never make it with that name. He lost weight, Fat Joe. <laughs> he made, he you got to be Elon Musk or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Elon Musk. By the way, this is interesting. I, this is in. Uh, um, um, uh, let's see here. Where is? Where is? Oh, here it is. Um, <laughs> Oh, Trump's no. simply. Oh, this is on. on uh, oh, this is a, a new a new low for Donald Trump. Okay, <laughs> this is on. Uh, this is on Drudge Report. It says Trump simulates oral sex on stage. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Really? oh. No, no, no. That that's jerking off two people at the same time. <laughs> that one. It's a different yeah. uh, <clears throat> But how does he simulate blowing? Uh, well, he opens his mouth motion. real wide when he's doing this motion, you know. This is the president. Oh, wait <laughs> yeah. A yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, but, oh, but oh, the oh, rapper's oh, name oh. was Nikki Jam. The, the, there you the, go. But there he, it is. he what he is he jerked oh, off the microphone oh, and then he put his mouth down towards the microphone like he was blowing it. Wow. Oh, that, it, I, wow. Felt, I feel so sorry for that microphone. <laughs> Did it seem like he's done it before? 
<laughs> hey, did you did you hear Elon Musk is making his sperm available to anybody who wants it? Yeah, he's got like twelve kids, right? I think, right? He's got eleven kids. Eleven? Okay, it was off by one. Yeah, but 12. the other thing about the about the about the Trump uh, um, about the Drudge report is there was one other item, and I was going to look for it until I saw the thing about or, oral sex on stage. <laughs> Uh, so that happened tonight? What yeah, happened to yeah, Drudge? Yeah. Happened Drudge tonight? is uh, hard right wing. The hell? No, that's, 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 that's Adrian. She's oh, yeah. She, she wants our attention. Did, did she vote for Trump, Brian? <laughs> Let me see. No. I'm trying to remember where I saw it. Uh, it seems as though uh, uh, Elon Musk has said that uh, Trump would be actually, he just put out a thing that said Trump would be bad for the economy. No, I think, I, I think, I, I, no, 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 no. That was I Mark think, Cuban. I, hmm? That was Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban. No, yeah. no, this yeah, actually was Elon what, Musk. Uh, what, what Elon Musk said was, you know, first thing that uh, Trump said he was going to put uh, Musk in charge of cutting was it two billion dollars? Some, some. I think two billion yeah. dollars or two trillion dollars from the from the uh, spending. budget mm -hmm. from spending. And so when he was making the announcement that he was going to do that, he says, "Well, it's definitely going to cause some some economic pain for people in the in the short run." Yeah, so the, says, the economic, economic hardship. hardship. Elon Musk hardship. predicts hardship, economic turmoil, <laughs> and a stock market crash if Trump wins. Yeah, <laughs> that's the headline. That's on market that's watch. Really cheap. That'd be busy. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, his stock this week has been dropping. Yeah, it dropped four, fourteen dollars today. Oh, really? Really? Yeah, yeah, something like that. I'll get the exact amount here. Wow, I just watched the video of Trump doing oral sex on the mic. Yeah, and it's, quite, it's quite disgusting. Yeah, he actually did it. It's <laughs> real. He did it. How can a Christian <laughs> vote for this guy? <laughs> well, Christians, Christians like to suck oh, that's, <laughs> that's the depressing thing that I saw this <laughs> week. An awful lot of crosses and somebody had uh, there was a yeah, somebody had a crucifix at the rally, the sanitation guy. Yeah. I'm glad it didn't work. Like the ex is not saying no. Like, what did, you, did you notice? Somebody Trump, had some Trump, like I Trump, voted Trump. stickers, only they said I prayed that their <laughs> church gave out. Do you ever notice? Do you ever go over to Fox? Do you ever watch Fox? Because I go over there every now and then because it's like going into bizarro world. It is bizarro world, yeah. You know? it's, like, it's like a whole different set of, of values and uh, uh, everything. Um, yeah. And when you go over there and, like, you watch that show with all the women on it, outnumbered, they're, they're, all, they're yeah. all wearing crosses. What is that? Uh, the big now deal perfect? now is to wear crosses to show <laughs> that you're, I don't know. Christian. A, a Christian advocate or whatever. I don't know. You know? Uh, and, uh, it's, it's so the, fucking gross. I think it's they're, right. they're, we put a sign out a hundred foot from the door, uh, two signs out, a hundred feet from the door. Yeah. That says distance mark, polling distance marker. Mm -hmm. And you are not supposed to ha do any electioneering, no mm -hmm. signs, no nothing within right. that hundred foot. Right. right. Never once did I have to tell a Harris supporter to remove your hat or go turn your shirt inside out. But I cannot tell you how many goddamn Trump supporters came on with, came in the polling place with Trump shirts and Trump hats, mm -hmm. lots of Trump hats, uh, you know, all this stuff. And I, one guy, I, I said, sir, uh, you're going to have to go turn your uh -huh. shirt inside out. There's a bathroom down the hall. And he said, why did I trigger you? I'm sorry, oh, you're God. breaking the law. Yeah, you're stupid. <laughs> yeah, you're stupid. You're, you're not... What about, you know, Amy, what about Ted Cruz? Is he on his way out? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it is neck and neck. 
It yeah. could happen. Yeah, that would be great. I Alex. mean, I don't want to get my hopes too high, but he, he wants to go on vacation it, so much. It could be permanent, really. Now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go to Cancun, Ted. Yeah, and back to Cancun. <laughs> well, you know, the Cancun deal may have sealed his fate because the people in Texas are down on him still to this day for yeah. that. You'd think oh, yeah. after how many years now they've forgotten it, but they really haven't. You know. Well, you know, as Charlie can tell you, Snowbangedon was pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? That was snow. That, that was when snow hit the uh, floor, uh, hit uh, Texas, and uh, the grid uh, went out. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah right. And, uh, and they're so, not connected to the national grid. And so t Ted Cruz decided to, 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 to take that moment to go to Cancun. Yeah. Oh, and left his dog, left, left his little puppy dog. Oh, I remember in a now. Freezing cold house. Yeah. People were dying <laughs> all over the state. The the the, the people. Uh, Charlie was without heat mm -hmm. and water. Yeah, it's, it's, not, and it's, water. it's not the time. Well, you, let me put it this way: it was nice enough to send Charlie a battery pack. And that was the next time. The one oh. that can't, that was the one where I had nothing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was fortunate I had just rolling blackouts. So we'd get like 45 minutes of electricity and then two or three hours without it. Mm. 96 hours without one kilowatt hour of electricity. Uh, and, so and then they sent you down to 32 degrees in my apartment. They send Whoa. you a bill. Electricity. And then they sent wow. you a bill for the electricity, right? And then the bill for electricity is the highest bill I ever got. Really? <laughs> really? They jacked up the prices. That was legal in Texas. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should see some of the people in like Irving and some of these other places. Uh, City of Denton has its own power plant. Um, we we have our own. We own our own energy plants. We have our own windmills and all kind of stuff. And uh, so. We didn't, it wasn't as bad as where Charlie yeah. is. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, so we're, you know, it, we're almost, it's almost over, you know, uh, and uh, whatever way it turns out, it turns out, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it, it's just sad that we even have to question as to who's going to win this. I mean, yeah. the, you know, the, the, it's just idiocy, complete idiocy. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm, uh, it, it, I, I got to say this. I've said this before and I'll say it again. You know, I, I, it, uh, I have never been that proud to be an American all my life. Ever, well, not all my life. When I was a kid, I didn't know better. But then I, you know, went and saw that thing I told you about at the House on American Activities subcommittee that I went to when I was, what, 13, 14 and at that point, I realized that I wasn't living in the country I'd been taught about in school. That I was seeing, I saw a guy who I listened to every morning on the radio have his career ruined in about five minutes. And after that, I decided that, you know, I had to question really what the values of this country were. And I've always had kind of a negative attitude about the country and not the same pride in being an American that I would like to have. Uh, and this only amplifies that. I mean, at the other end of my life where, you know, how many more years do I have left? But at the other end of my life, here I am asking the same questions about what kind of country are we living in where this could even happen. You know, I, I could see a lot of other Republicans running and people backing those Republicans. But none of those would be like Trump is, which is a totally morally corrupt human being who has no morals whatsoever and doesn't care how he wins this election. And he's using every fascist trick in the book to try and win it by once again uh, throwing out this whole thing about uh, creating xenophobia in this country and that you would think 
that things are so bad that you're going to get raped tomorrow by a Mexican. You know, yeah. Yeah. or a microphone. I, mean, I should have such luck. <laughs> or a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Right. That was good, Tom. The worst thing that your Mexican is going to do is deliver my pizza right now. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, well, I, they I just want to work, I would imagine, Alex. They, they just also want... deliver yeah. Chinese food, Tony, in your neighborhood. I, uh, I, I love that. They said, you know, we're we're going to build a bunch of affordable housing, but we're going to deport all the people that build the affordable, affordable housing. housing. Yeah. We'll pick the fruit, too. We... Hmm? Well, pick the fruit too. I would imagine. You know, that's not. Oh yeah. Oh, the whole. Oh, yeah, here it, in the it, Central it, Valley and in Florida. Oddly enough, if we start deporting people like he wants to by the millions, the whole economy of this country is going to just yeah. absolutely tank. Yeah. Now, I, I, you know, we because we rely on those people, believe it or not, to take the jobs yes, that do. nobody else wants. It's true, really. I mean. Well, I mean it, who does you think you could really? Work? Could he really do it? You think? I don't know. I was going to ask you that. Right? How would we do it? How would he do it, Ray? Like he has no plans for anything. Alex, no. is he, he just says this to get elected, and it's all bullshit with him. Really, he doesn't have plans. Well, you know, but, they, but they do have people. The the people that put together uh, Project Twenty Twenty Five. Those people are ready and waiting to mm -hmm. get into place and put this bullshit in place. Yeah. And track mm -hmm. women's uh, pregnancies and yeah. shit. Don, you're 15 minutes early. Hello, Don. How are you? <laughs> Don Giller got here early. He must have early. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen, yeah. Him. haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. You must have been busy, right, Don? Um, I'm tired of people griping. <laughs> You're tired of people griping about what? It's going to be a blowout. I agree. Yeah. Uh, I think, someone I had think mentioned that, it, that, that, that early voting is through the roof. Yeah. And 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 it's already put Trump at a disadvantage. Yep. Stephen Miller is going berserk. Predicting World War Three and 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 and, and, and a, uh, a winter uh, what's the I forget anyway nuclear winter yeah nuclear, nuclear winter yeah, could be, uh, yeah. because they know they're losing yeah he's it's got the love too right? uh, the the only state of which there's a concern is Nevada yeah. uh, John Ralston who is the Nevada guy for 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 keeping track of this stuff. He's concerned. He he and he and he's dedicated to the numbers and the early voting. Um, uh, Clark County is yeah. un underperforming. Uh, and and I'm, Las he, Vegas he, is in Clark County. Yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna post something later tonight because uh, new numbers came in. So 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 what I'm saying may be either outdated or reinforced. Um, it's the only state I know of that's calling out the National Guard. Well, it's really? Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, Nevada for. But yeah. she's but she's going to win Pennsylvania. She's going to win Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, That's what we need, and yeah. we, and with just those three states, not even counting North Carolina or Georgia, or Arizona mm -hmm. or Nevada, she's got two seventy. Yeah. Okay. So, but, but what happens with the? Uh, you said there's a factor with Nevada. Uh, but but she won't need it. She won't she need won't, it. Okay. It's only 11 electoral college votes. Yeah. Right. Although, and, although and, Jackie, and, or Jackie Rosen might need it. You know? Yeah. Yes. That's, and, that's a big you know, you know, probably go to yeah, RFK. But, but, <laughs> but, but if we get, if we get Ted Cruz out and get mm -hmm. Colin Alred in, then but we that, also remember we're losing Manchin. Yeah, but we are yeah, losing Manchin. What a great yeah. loss. No, wait a minute. Well, but he, still, he, we, it's, he was still a Democratic oh, yeah, vote. Still a <laughs> yeah. Scott is behind in the polls in, in Florida. Yeah, that's a possibility. He's he made up Florida. But what well, if, yeah. What's interesting about, is, you know, what's going to happen with the down ballot stuff? You know, I mean, let's say Kamala wins the presidency. Mm -hmm. But if she doesn't have the Senate and the Congress, mm -hmm. she's going to be sitting there with her finger up her butt. 
You know, yeah. I mean, she'll, I, th- she'll get I the house. think mm. I, I think she'll get the cow. I think she might keep the Senate too. I think we might keep the Senate. If she, like I said, it's, it's Ted Cruz is in danger. Yeah, yep. but, but they're going to lose West Virginia. Mm. Uh, they're going to lose Montana. Uh, they'll keep Ohio. Um, it it it's not good. I, I I think I think they'll lose the Senate. But I mean, I could be wrong. But I don't see. Uh, and this this Scott poll, I'm I'm that's the first I've heard of it. So maybe you're right. But I'd I'd like to see that as well. Huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, well, the thing I, is, if if, if mm. Trump if Trump loses, which I think he will. It's going to go on for months. He's going to use everything he can to try to manipulate the whatever he can in the electoral yeah. college. But the I tell you what, they're going to they're they're going to claim because they come into my polling place every day and claim this. They're saying that the the voting machines are flipping votes. Yeah. Well, that's and actually like, happened. That... In, in, and 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 that machine has been replaced. Uh, there's there's video that's gone viral of somebody. Uh, trying to press the Trump button and nothing's happening. And they does it so many times and it suddenly automatically switches to Harris. Oh, uh, <laughs> and, and, you know, he pointed it out and, and it was investigated and they pulled the machine. So that, that's, that's a legitimate yeah, but it was problem. Like, it was like one machine though. It was one machine. One machine. And it was uh, not in Denton County. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's well, because our, ours don't work that way. Ours, you hand mark a paper ballot and then feed it into a scanner. Yeah. The difference between 2020 and today is that in 2020, Trump was president and had the levers of government. Yes. He doesn't have that now. So he's no. not going to have the sort of pull and power that we're all attributing to him when he loses. Yeah, he'll kill. He'll raise a fuss. He'll always raise a fuss. But he's not going to you're not going to see him give a, a pre riot speech. Well, you know, uh, you, you, it, it, it could stall. In Washington. It could stall the election. However, you know, I won't. mean, it, uh, it, 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 it's because, so much bark and so little bite. It's not. It's, yeah, but it's remember not what happened as... with the Gore election. Okay, it wasn't until what February that we finally no, no, December, no, no. mid December, was it was December. Was it December? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Can yeah. you believe we've been talking about this guy for over nine freaking years? Yeah. Oh my God! Well, you got to hand it to him. He knows how to keep himself in the daily dialogue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, that's been his great <laughs> talent. Is every day he will say something ridiculous. Today he blew a microphone. Okay, they're going to be talking about him blowing the microphone all day tomorrow on MSNBC. You know, and and, and you know, I, if if he does win, it's going to be MSNBC that got him elected. By the way. But he's not going to win, so stop talking like that. Okay, I'll <laughs> stop talking like that because if you say so, Geller, I'm taking it to the bank. Because <laughs> well, I could use the dough. Yeah, I know you could. <laughs> no, so it, it's just better, I think, to feel positive about this. And, and, if, and if Harris loses, then we'll get depressed. But there's no point in getting depressed now. Well, right. Marjorie said to me, uh, gee, gee, it looks, mm-hmm. doesn't look good for, for Harris. I said, it's, it's, it's 50-50. Either, yeah. you know, it, it can go either way. I said, so it, think positively. It probably is going to go mm-hmm. Harris's way. But yeah. I think there's an element here that the pollsters are just not able to poll and not able to catch and 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 report. And I think that's going to be what's going to be the, you know, the toss-up well, in this whole thing. That's why I go with <laughs> Alan Lickman. <laughs> yeah, and I Sienna, love Alan. And the Siena poll. <laughs> yeah. Well, at, at, here's the other thing that got very little attention during the Trump trial where he got convicted on 34 felonies. Marist, I'm sorry, Marist poll, sorry. Marist poll. Oh. I'm, I'm how's, sorry she, how's she doing it's, in the Marist poll, by the way? Well, mm. I, I'm interrupting. I, I, oh, but yeah, how, I how's she doing in the Marist yeah, poll? Yeah, Amy was in the middle of something. She's doing <laughs> great. They, 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 released, they released a poll at midnight last night. Um, uh, she's ahead again in 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 the rust belt every in every state and that to me is is that's the closer okay all right okay. anyway as you were saying amy yeah sorry amy so something that got very little attention during that trial was it the testimony was given that they were paying for positive polling 
they they have been flooding the zone oh, yeah. with positive Trump polls. They're fake polls, mm-hmm. but they're putting them out there. They're paying for positive data. Mm. Mm. Mar- Maris, one of Maris' polls is uh, uh, mm. Harris leads among those who have already voted. Arizona, she's up nine to twelve points. Wow. Georgia, seven to ten points. There Michigan. You go. 26 to 39 points, <clears throat> North Carolina, two to six points, Pennsylvania, 17 to 35 points, <laughs> Wisconsin, 22 to 60 points. This is, this is early voting results. Wow. So wow. like I say, this is going to be a blowout. Mm-hmm. And, and, mm-hmm. and to worry and to fret as we Rick Wilson, who, who I think is, he's, he's a mm-hmm. great writer. I don't know if you know who he is. He's, he's, uh, uh, he's a yes. former <laughs> Republican. Uh, he's he, he's pleading with. I'm sorry. With the Lincoln Project. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. He um, he he wrote an essay. Said, you know, stop drinking the poison. You know, don't believe this crap because you're all being manipulated. Um. It it, again, it's it, you'll do your heart. you you'll do your blood pressure a lot better if you just assume. She's going to win, and she's going to win handily, because there's no point in getting stressed out before the vote. Well, there was a very good article written by Monica Lewinsky oh, <laughs> really? about how she's to. Did you see great. it? How to do microphones? No, no, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> did you see it, Mark? What you? Yes, wrote? I was like, I, I, I was like, is this the Onion? What? You know, I'm like. Oh my God! It's a real yeah, Monica Lewinsky wrote an article, and I don't know where it was in the Times or whatever, in which she said, "Here's how you're going to get through this," and she gave you a list of things to do so you wouldn't get all upset, you know. And and I uh, um, I, you know, Monica, Monica's become a pretty good writer, you know. So Vanity Fair, she wrote it in Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I got plenty of alcohol on hand. I'm going to order Canadian on Tuesday. Yeah? You got alcohol? I don't have alcohol. I don't drink either, Alex. My I got a lot of pot here, though. So Can I you know, a lot of coffee? <laughs> I drink coffee, yeah. I, I got whiskey. Yeah. I, got, I got Jim Beam. Come well, on problem, over. I got French champagne. My problem is... Now, I, I remember 2016... <laughs> Um, I'm driving home from, I, I was the presiding judge on election day, 2016. I'm driving home and I'm hearing Trump is winning and I pulled in and I got a bunch of ice cream and I got home and I filled a giant mug with ice cream and alcohol oh, and then <laughs> called into Alex's program. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> my, oh, I was working my, the poll. Oh, then, my. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I remember. We got another hour since Amy's not doing a show. Oh, tonight. Nah, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. We're uh, not though, and I'm sure Amy would like to take the night off too. You know. So. <laughs> I I have a yeah, a, twelve days, fourteen hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you're gonna be on <laughs> next Tuesday night, Alex? What I'll time? be on next Tuesday night. Yeah, and I may do Wednesday, but I don't know. If if it isn't finished, if it isn't settled yet, I will probably do uh, uh, Wednesday as well. But then we're leaving on Thursday. Oh, you have to go to Paris. Yeah. So if Trump wins, you can just stay there. Well, I, that's yeah. what I'm planning on doing. <laughs> I will have no reason to come back. If oh, North yeah. Carolina, <laughs> if North Carolina goes for Harris Tuesday night, it's over. Yeah, I think. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. Right. What well, if, what if they go? I, I won't be here ne- uh, next Friday night because it'll be the rehearsal dinner for my son getting married on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. You're sure taking off a lot of time. Yeah. yeah well, you're yeah. going to get deducted on your gabinet. Yeah, books. but what I was doing, I was getting paid for. Well, I won't be getting paid for the rehearsal dinner. I'm paying big bucks for that. Probably a lot more than I'm getting oh, paid for doing. I got to start the theme here. There we go. Hey, listen, nice of you to all join me. Join me again. We'll be on Monday with the uh, pop-up show. And then we'll be here on Tuesday night at the same time, 1030. 
you know, um, uh, Eastern time, and uh, it will it will probably go till midnight. But if it isn't over yet, maybe we'll keep going. You know, we'll just wait and see how it all goes. But by the time we go on, the West Coast will probably just be closing down. So yeah. you know, uh, we will have some real idea of what's going on. So please join me then, and. Um, I guess that's it. Everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Uh, there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Let me just, uh, oh, here, there we go. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Uh, by the way, Mar oh, everybody, I forgot to say goodbye to everybody. Hold on a second. Let me go back here. Where do we go? Uh, the, 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 uh, let me say goodbye to, uh, I didn't say goodbye to Jeff. And I didn't say goodbye to Alan, and I didn't say goodbye to Charlie, and to Tom Yamaguchi, and Mark Thorner, Don Gillard. Mark, call more often. I love having you here. When you can, okay? Just do it. What about I'm me? You too, Ray. And you too, <laughs> Amy. And you too, D Don uh, uh, Gillard. And uh, 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 Brian was here, and who else was here? Tony. We, oh, and Tony. Yeah. Okay, everybody, give a big wave goodbye. Now we'll do it the right way, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, I'll uh, see you again on Monday, right here with the uh, at four o'clock on Monday, on uh, uh, what do you call it? Facebook uh, for the uh, pop-up show. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know what to do. Tell her I love her. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody.